welcome back to my channel joy in life um i am going to uh do some swatches with you and reveal um this box i've been waiting for it for so 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 long is uh diamonds life fast 100 wooden box uh, i've been waiting for it since it first came out with uh just the life fast color but there were only um, 16 and 32 packs, I believe. I don't really remember the numbers. I'm really bad at numbers. <laughs> um, and then I know that, uh, they are going to have 72 and I was really excited to, to get it. And I thought I was going to get it, but then they have the 100, um, um, they said that it will, would be out. So I was waiting for the 100 set because I just hate it when you get 36 and then you have to, you know, we buy the whole thing or buy it, uh, um, at open stock and then you know i i rather have a set that is uh easier for me to store and everything so i've been saving up for this because it is quite expensive but now you can um get it in a lot of like u.s uh, stores uh it's around like um depending on where you get it uh ranging from 250 something to 300 dollars um but I think it's totally worth it because of their work. They really try really hard to make this all 100% life fast. So, um, and it's oil based colored pencil. Um, it, uh, I haven't opened it yet. So I'm doing the unboxing with you today. So I don't know how good it is or not good it is. So let's see. Um, so it's, uh, made in England. So, um, it was out actually. Uh, late last year, I believe in uh, 2019, uh, but then uh, I had uh, some other things that I was paying attention to and I, I didn't get to pay attention to this at all. So I didn't look for a few months. And then at the beginning of this year, I saw that, oh, you know, they were out, so that's good. But then uh, they were sold out in the US. Uh, and then I would uh, order it online. I tried to order it online, I should say, but uh, because of COVID-19, they were not shipping anything from anywhere to the US. So I couldn't get it uh, for a while. And now I finally get it. So I got it at um um uh bricks and when i got the box i didn't you know i didn't uh bring the uh cardboard box down here just because i don't want to contaminate anything in my house so i open it i i write everything before i bring this in here i'm a little disappointed uh because of the, you know the box was a little scratched and here you can see a little damage in here but i've been waiting for this for so long i'm not going to return it or anything and honestly i don't know if i'm going to keep the box you know later on although i'm a little disappointed just because it's it's so expensive i want it to be in a perfect condition so wow look at this so this is a very nice wooden box with the name on it and it says fine art pencils in here let's open it together so they have this on here so then it won't get um, damaged and there's the booklet and it tells you information about the pencils and every single one of them um, Oh, so it also tells you like what is in the 12 set to 24, 36, 48, 72, and 100 sets. So to tell you all those information, the night fast list, and, and so on and so forth. So this is the booklet. And then this one, I've seen this on uh, some of the reviews before. And basically it tells you a lot about um, the company. And this is wonderful. This is so cool. Oh, and you can use some, um, you can blend it. I appreciate, sure, like you have, you use a solvent to brand it, but you can do that. And of course, you know, just like other oil-based um, color pencil. So how about this? Let me put this here and we will start um, the swatch on here. So I'm also going to probably just reveal this as well. Um, this is the uh, Stonehenge white um, uh, 
paper. And uh, I've heard that this is the best for one of the best ones uh, for watercolor. I mean, for a colored pencil. I'm sorry. I'm always doing watercolors. So that's why, you know, I said that. So um, I have, I find the information online and I put down every single color on here already. As you can see on the back and the front. So I'm just going to swatch it out. So then, uh, you know, you can see how it looks uh, when you are uh, swatching it. So let me put it on the side. I guess that will make more sense because you can see clearly what I'm doing. So I may split, it, split this up later on a little bit. Uh, but you can see, you know, how... It is, uh, I may, um, at the end, I may do um, a simple drawing so then you can see the blending uh, of the, the color. So this one, I use more pressure on it. So let me try to use less pressure to see how it goes. It goes on pretty smoothly, I would say. I don't have to use a lot of pressure. Um, and the color is coming out pretty nice pretty good. so I'll keep doing this I want to chat with you a little bit you know just on as in the others watching videos so then it won't you know just so then we can know each other a little bit better it won't be like a very impersonal kind of video um, because I would like to know you a little bit better. So you can tell me a little bit about yourself um, on the comments below. Uh, and if I know you, you can tell me where we met. And I actually, you can uh, ask for a sample pencil from them if you go to their website. I request one before and I get uh, one that is in this set. Uh, of course, you know, this is the complete set, I guess. Uh, it's called... Uh, uh, Apricots, I think that is the one that I get. So pretty interesting. So let me tell you what I've been doing, um, you know, uh, because of uh, the self-isolation, you know, we're always staying home. I actually, you know, I start enjoying staying home a lot more now. Uh, I feel like at the beginning it was totally an adjustment and you can tell me if you um your parents you know how hard it is when you all of a sudden have to homeschool your child and I've never dreamed that I will teach my kid anything at all and she had been really really independent in the past so I didn't have to teach her anything and she would just take care of herself uh, and she's 11 now, by the way, she just turned 11. <gasps> Double DJ. Um, but she, you know, in general, like I didn't have to uh, pay much attention to her homework, but since she started um, homeschooling, uh, I mean, the teacher is still really, really good trying to do, uh, you know, um, videos with them and show them how to do every single thing. So, uh, however, you know, it's harder still when they cannot ask questions um, in person. So I am the person that she usually goes to, uh, depending. So sometimes daddy, daddy usually teaches her math and I will um, teach her other things. So, oh, it's, um, so, you know, it, it's hard to do that when you have a full-time job and plus, you know, you have to do that. But now I feel like uh, uh, it's, it's getting a little bit more um, um, like uh, in freedom, like you get it more now. And so it's easier and easier. So I think this is the, this is the color that I get from them as a sample. But I, I feel like it is different. I don't know. I have to look. I'll let you know. I'll... Um, Put it down below in the description to see if it has the same name, but I feel like it is a different color. So that's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting because that one looks more like um, a skin color. So I don't know if they, like, when they give you the sample, they give you like the the one that is, uh, you know, they, they have the wrong information on there or, you know, it's like def defected in some ways. I don't know. 
so I'll let you know but it feels like so far it, it is really creamy and it's really easy to lay down the color uh, I imagine it will be easy to uh, mix the color but I haven't really like tried drawing with it yet so I can't tell yet um, but I will be uh, doing this watching first so you can in the uh, comments below you can tell me like what you are enjoying or what you are struggling uh, with when you are uh, you know self-isolating at home uh, so I've been doing um, some drawings um, and uh, this video is going to come out uh, first but then I already did another video um, on a fruitful uh, on my sketchbook for the 30 uh, phases 30 days challenge and so I did that and it's really amazing it's pretty fun um, so but you will know more um, about that challenge in that video so I did that and it's pretty interesting so I've done that you know uh, you, uh, in the past month uh, and I tend to draw a little bit every day draw or paint every day a little bit uh, I spend more time with my daughter definitely I feel like um, you know this is something that I enjoy doing and usually I don't have as much time doing so I just start playing video games with her <laughs> I myself like video games as well um, but um, I'm learning her video games so that is pretty hard not easy but I'm learning so and she said that I'm doing a good job she's usually a pretty encouraging person so so she told me that oh you're doing really well so i'm like okay thank you and so I, i'll keep doing that with her and i feel like that is something that i enjoy doing but i feel like um i used to go out a lot like every single weekend i just um schedule something for myself for the family just because i feel like if you are uh, having a day off if you're not going anywhere you're wasting a day off <laughs> But now, because I don't have that to do, like, I can, I cannot choose to even do that. I feel like I'm staying home a lot more, um, of course, you know, everybody is. Uh, but I start enjoying it a little bit more so that I'm not, you know, uh, pressured to find something to do for the family. And I can simply just do what I want to do over the weekend. So that usually includes some uh, drawings, paintings, um, you know, make making your YouTube videos, right? That is fun to do. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't want to bore you to death. So I'm going to um, probably speed up uh, the video from here on. Wow, so then you don't have to watch me to draw the whole thing. It may be boring to you, but I'll start. Uh, I will uh, do a sunset scene probably with um, some uh, grass and and stuff in the front so then you can see the difference. 
um, different greens in there. I may or may not, I may talk through this. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, I can be quite talkative at times. So, um, the funny thing is, like, they don't have a lot of, like, red or pink or, you know, whatever in here. So, I'm trying to find the sunset color and I'm looking at, you know, what should I get? I want to get something like probably this and some kind of like yellowish orange kind of thing. So this is like a really quick um, drawing just to see how it lands and and if it's good. It seems like it layer it it, it can layer pretty well on top of each other. So. I, I really like the paper as well. So as you can see, you know, the layering is good for the paper. Let me save a spot for the sun. Um, I don't use this color for the sun, probably. It's too, maybe too dark. I want it a little bit brighter. I probably can layer the two, so let me Use this as the base color and then use that as the top color. Okay, now go back to use this. want some pink at the bottom as well. I'm not having any reference picture, so I'm just making things up here. <laughs> but as I said, like who cares, right? As long as you are having fun, as long as you feel like uh, you're enjoying the process, that is what it counts. It doesn't really have any pink pink, at least I don't see any pink pink in here. So that's why I said like this these colors are really interesting. Um, but pretty nice still. So and you can you know see all this color here. So I just put it here just in case you, if you want to look at it some more. I turn it back to the front. So you can see it a little bit for a little bit longer. Um okay, and I want to have the C, let me use this color. I don't care if it looks real or not. <laughs> I'm just trying to lay down some color. Um, to make it look nice. And again, I want the reflection of the sun in here. So let me have it here. But it doesn't have to be like as, as dark or whatever because it's it's in the sea, right? So it's just a refreshing. So I can just you know color on top of that. And I will don't worry, I'll save some space for the green and for the uh, grass field in front of the sea. So again, you know, I don't know any places like that at all. But you know, whatever. I'm just making things up here. So here. I'll just lay down some greens first. And then I will um, add some other layers of different things in there. So hopefully I can do some pine color. I just um, paused the video because uh, my phone went out of battery, so I had to um, charge it before I continue. So I and then I realized that you don't really see my uh, this pack as clearly as I thought you would. So um, this is like a really uh, simple 
painting i'm just adding some colors here and there you know to indicate that there is flower it doesn't really matter um as i said like we're just having fun here not looking at the fine uh the last you know uh, the, the final product i don't know why i'm saying it's getting late all right so um so you see some layering in here not you know a lot of layering but some layering uh so maybe here i'll just some more color in it so now let me uh try to use the softening to see if it went well um you know if i don't plan to use the something i would have colored like a lot uh, like a little bit differently but i'm just you know trying to do a quick video and try to um see if that will work so i don't need a lot Usually I try to overestimate how much solvent I need and then I never, I don't, I never really used all of them. So let me see. So when you blend it, you see that it blends, blends really well with solvent. But I, I, I wonder like even if you don't use a solvent, if you just color it in layers, it will have like really good um, effect as well, but the color is is really nice and it's really ripened and is I like it. I like it a lot. So um, usually when I use a solvent, I would just uh, use um, a container and I now usually use this kind of containers. It's actually uh, from the yogurt that I purchased because I feel like, um, you know, it's, it's a deal if you need this kind of container and uh, you like the yogurt to begin with, you know, that is a really good deal. So I accumulated a lot of those. I plan to do some projects with them and sell them on um, Ipsy. I mean, no, Ipsy, what am I saying? Uh, Etsy. Uh, but I don't know. I, I may or may not. Because um, I haven't looked into um, how to do that yet. So uh, I usually just sell things on my own website and uh, also at the um, consignment shop that I sell my things at, like physically. So I don't know yet, but I'll give these some thoughts. I have a Cricut machine, so I can show you some of those projects later on as well. It's a fun machine to use. I don't get to use them as much as I want this year. Uh, but last year I really used it a lot. I feel like I got the money worth it already because I made, um, for one event, I made 12 uh, mugs and you know how inexpensive if you made it yourself, although it was a lot of work because my design has a lot of layers. So it took me um, like almost uh, like quite a few hours to make those. But I, if you want to order it, it will be really expensive. So, um, you know, just that project itself, I feel like it's almost worth all my supplies and, and the machine. Uh, I made a t-shirt for my daughter as well for her birthday um, and a couple of other things. So, you know, it's pretty, it, it's fun, it's fun. I feel like I should use it more uh, because I'm so used to the old um, Daikin machine <laughs> I'm still using that I feel like oh should I just you know scan those designs and switch to Cricut instead but I, I haven't I didn't you know it's soothing to do that process of running the machine um, on the paper and get the the cut out so I plan to what I plan to do is I want some color to be reflected on the sea as well so let me try to layer it a little bit. So now it's it's dry, right? Because it dries pretty quickly. 
So let me see if I can do that. So I won't press as um, hard on this because it's supposed to be like something that you can see a little bit, but not really, you know, it's just like the reflection of it and not exactly the same thing. So let me try. Mm, I believe it is this cover. Yep, so you can see it's, it's, it blends really well, like it's really easy to blend the color. So let me zoom it in a little bit manually <laughs> for you to see. Like it? Yeah, I like the color. I, I like it quite a bit. Um, let me... Yeah, let me just tear this up. The paper I like a lot too. Um, it's pretty thick and uh, it's really sturdy. So let me just draw something really, really basic, like a, a circle, like a square. Make it look um, round and 3D. See if I can do it with this. Now let's say like the light source come from here, so this side will be a little bit darker. And here maybe a little bit lighter. Not pressing as hard on it. And I have some other colors blend into it later on so then that that is easiest to see the blending effect see if you can blend the colors really well um, don't judge me on what I am doing <laughs> I guess you will see it a little bit better later on and I feel like I'm just having fun here so so again, I'm just testing how well it is on the color blending. I know my circle is not really round at the moment, but it will be better later on. So when you're drawing, don't be afraid to turn the paper. I feel like a lot of people do that and that is a really good thing to do just because then you have a much better control over I'm sorry again I didn't remember to push it farther away from me so then you will be able to see it a little bit better all right so see you know the blending is really well I have two colors in here but you really um can see that they really blend into each other. So what I'll try to do is um, after, you know, this will be like a really simple demonstration and it's not even um, you know, um, like I won't use a lot of techniques or whatever on this, but then later on, I really want to try the highlight. I want to try to layer some white on top to see if that will work. So probably like some kind of um, shadow underneath. Use I I don't really like to use a really um, black or you know something like that. So let me try something else and we'll layer some colors so it can reflect a little bit of the purple and blue at the bottom.
So I feel like even if you don't use um, the solvent, if you blend it well enough, like if you, you do many layers and you really try to blend it, it will blend really well. Look at this. So I'm using um, this flash pink to blend it because I don't want like too, too many layers of other colors but I want them to blend so I'm kind of using it as a blender at the moment try to blend the color together and you can see that they blend really well together and I do it didn't use a lot of pressure at all um, it's just like really lightly that I do it so this is is pretty nice and later on I'll still add the solvent just so you can see you know the, the before and after and you know give you more information but even if you don't I feel like this is a really good um, they blend really well already so now that I have this not the perfect one, but it doesn't really matter. We're just testing things out. Let me go on and find the the white tip that they have. I think it's at the bottom. Yep, the last one. To see if it will show. I know that um, Some other blends are really good as well, but you know, I just want to see if it will show still. So it seems like it does. Is it as white as like you really um, want to be? Depends, right? But we can try layering more. It's pretty good already, like because a lot of um, colors won't show, like a lot of whites uh, won't show for other blends. Uh, in this kind of situations when you have like really dark color beneath so this is pretty good um, but I've heard that um, uh, some other plants may be having like really really good ones as well so it's your personal liking so let me try to use some solvents on this to see if how it will blend when we have more layers of colors on this so maybe I should just do the white first so then it won't be contaminated by other color. It it is it is very nice. Um I've heard that they said uh you know with this set of uh colored pencil you can almost get a if you use solvent and all that it's almost like you can get the oil color effect and i can totally see it here because you i don't know if you see that in the camera but i can really move the color around a little bit so you know so there are good thing and bad about it good thing is you can move them around a little bit and bad thing is you have to be careful right here <laughs> it's not round anymore but you know but you can see the effect is really nice uh it's really like oil based and you can see that so i'm trying to blend it a little bit more like toward outside so you can see how i can move the the color so hey see how interesting it is like i don't like it it's not wrong but whatever okay So here, I'll zoom in for you again manually here, right? It is very nice. I really like uh, how it looks and the effects. Um, so although it is really quite an investment, I feel like, um, but what, like a uh, color pencil, I kept saying watercolor, color pencils are uh, last you forever. Um, Basically, you can do a lot of drawings and paintings with just this one set. So I feel like it is still worth it. I've been saving up for like a while because I know that I want to get this set. But 
um, you know, see if you, you want to get this set. I, I highly recommend it. Um, I really like the effects. Uh, and I'm going to take a picture of this page and this page and show it to you. Uh, hopefully I'll have a link uh, down below. If I don't have it yet, subscribe to the channel. Eventually I will have it up when my website is fixed. So here. I like it. I like it. I wish I have more time to, you know, really uh, swatch it out a little bit even more. But I feel like this will give you some um, information about this. See if you like this set. And um, I personally like it a lot. I feel like it's worth the wait. I've been waiting for it for so long. I ordered it probably... Um, I don't remember if it's at the end of January or at the beginning of February. Uh, and then I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and they uh, had to postpone the shipment. I think it's because, uh, you know, uh, nothing is coming to the U.S. Uh, at that time. And so um, I couldn't get it. Uh, they postponed the shipment and then they postponed it again and asked if I want to wait for it. And I'm like, there's no way that I can get this set anyway, so of course I'll wait, you know, because there's nothing much I can do about it. Oh, I feel like I missed probably is this one shorter a bit. No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to um put that back. I know I um probably should wait till I end the video, but because you know, this is a little bit long, so I'm wondering if it's belongs to the layer below so when you open it you know <laughs> there is the difference this is really a little bit longer so yeah it belongs here just because it doesn't have as much maybe i don't know let me try um so uh for pencil sharpeners uh, Darwin had different types of uh, pencil sharpener. I have one of those and I, I like it. Um, do I love it? Mine is a little bit off because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Um, but I feel like it is me and not them because, um, I feel like I, I, I read more about it and see how to use it and then I got a hold of it now. Uh, it is an electronic one that you just put battery in it. Um, I may link the, the have the link down below and uh, it's just like that and then you can um, there is like a thicker for one slot for the uh, thicker pencil and then the other one for uh, slimmer pencils so there are two different ones in there that you can use and that one is pretty handy um, and I think I have another one, I believe, I don't know, um, uh, that is just like manually, you use it manually and that one is really good. And a lot of people recommend that one as well. So I'll have the links down below. Um, and you see it here. I'll show it once more, you know, here, this one page, second page. And this is like the drawing that I did a quick drawing and here. So I really like this set. Um, I really feel like it is worth the wait. So if you order now, I, I think it's back in stock. Uh, so you can try to order it online. So anyhow, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Um, so please subscribe. Um, click the bell. Uh, so then you can get notification. And give this video a thumbs up, please. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.